remember when it all started. Ryan and I were both CAFOD volunteers working with young people. We realised they were seeing images of refugees on the news and really wanted to do something to help. We heard that on average, 24 people every minute are forced from their homes. That's like a whole class. Globally, millions of people are being forced from their homes, often due to conflict, when their lives are in danger. Most of them move elsewhere in their country or to nearby countries. For a long time, CAFOD has been working all over the world to support people forced from their homes. So we started to get people here to write messages to them. So far, we've collected tens of thousands. Then we got a call. Do you want to go to Lebanon to deliver your messages? We only had one answer. First, we visited CAFOD's partner, Association Najdeh, who primarily support Palestinian refugees in Lebanon and those arriving more recently from Syria. Most of these families have been living in refugee camps across the Middle East for generations. They face many challenges. Uh, Najdeh are supporting people to overcome some of these challenges. I saw a workshop where a group of women were uh, learning about beauty and hairdressing. They were really passionate about learning a skill, but also learning something that could help them be independent in their work and help bring an income to their families. Najdeh provides support to children to help them understand their rights and to cope better with their experiences as a refugee. صرنا ست سنين هون ووقت الدراسة باخد درس بعدين بلعب بعدين حتى من أغاني بنرقص نتعلم I think that's so important for young people in the UK to know that even the messages that we've written can help and just provide a bit more hope for the people. Then we met Zena, who showed us her work with CAFOD's partner, Caritas Lebanon. Everyone should have the basic, its basic rights or his basic rights like education, uh, food, shelter, uh, uh, living in a in safe, safe space. Caritas Lebanon is an incredible organisation that supports refugees and vulnerable people to have these rights. They also run activities like English and Arabic literacy and self-defence classes. More than one in four people in Lebanon is a refugee. There's competition for jobs and housing and services are stretched, so there are some tensions. Inspiring young Caritas volunteers of different nationalities are working to bridge these divides. I was born in Lebanon and this is my country and this is what I was born in. And this is what I want to help the society and the people if someone is in trouble. If you have a war in your country, you can't go under the border to 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 go under the border. جيت على لبنان من خمس سنين كنت كثير حب الروح اللي كانت بيناتنا اللي هي انه احنا بس رفقه عم نشتغل كلياتنا لنفس الهدف اللي هو ما في فرق بين كل الاشخاص بغض النظر عن دين جنس او اي شيء ثاني It's just been so enjoyable that people have been so willing to share their stories and be open with us. What has inspired me the most is seeing the hope in some people's faces. That although this may not be the life that they are wanting, they are making the most of that and trying to take every opportunity that they have. We know young people are amazing. So many of you have already shown you care about our brothers and sisters forced from their homes. There's so much more we can do, just get involved. <laughs>